So I'm making a what I learnt from this sub project video for you. Um, there were some errors made in this and I want to start with this one and it's called RTFM. that came with the window was this big orange warning that I didn't read until this afternoon after my kind neighbour and I had come to terms with the fact that we I should have cut a template first before cutting anything and I haven't heard anyone say this about these windows yet so I'm telling you now and the warning says amongst a few other things if you don't have a template Use cardboard cut to match hole for window. Use template to check interior hole size and mark position on exterior. Double check hole position and size to window frame. Measure twice and cut once. Always dry fit the window before cutting the vehicle. So I did some of those things, but I didn't make a template. The reason is most people guess that the template on the interior edge of the window is the template and it wasn't it wasn't correct we had to keep reshaping it and then angle grinding it until it actually fit in position so did i say that this project took seven hours and the last three of them were with help from my neighbor now i know this is the very first time i've done it and it should get faster from here i've learned a lot but that is definitely something I've learned. Um, secondly, move next to some awesome neighbors who <laughs> come and help. Um, if it's not obvious, these window installations require at least two hands and his um, partner helped at one stage. So I had two people's hands pushing in as hard as I was pushing out when I was actually drilling the frame. And that's something else to know is in the last phase when you go around the inside and screw it in you need people pushing hard on the other direction because uh, you're pushing out with all your might and the last thing you want to do is your brand new window to go clunk on track on the ground okay what else did i learn today um you know projects we can plan a project and guess how long it's going to take to our heart's content and yet sometimes projects will tell you their timeline <laughs> they'll tell you i'm going to take this amount of time to do this or you need this tool to make it work so we really needed the angle grinder it really helped a lot and i'll definitely use it next time i install another window so i have seven things to cut into my van we've done the first one and uh, six to go and again thankfully i've got awesome neighbors that are helping me so I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I learnt. Well, I think that one thing I'd say is I, going into this project, I was determined to have fun, to enjoy the process. And any time I felt stressed or felt like I'm pushing myself too hard, um, which, you know, anyone that's watching me from my Powerfully Feminine work, which is a different business that I've run for the last long time, um, it doesn't work. I'm not 25, I'm twice the age of most of the people on YouTube talking about this. And so, and I've got this problem with my hands which makes them very weak. And if my hands aren't able to press, you know, depress things and be strong, then I've just got to stop. I've got to sleep, I've got to massage my hands, I've got to take up some salt baths or whatever. And so it's gonna take as long as it's gonna take and have fun doing it because it's really, really fun. So at the end of the day, I've ended up with um, a sliding door window in place. It was, you know, difficult at some phases, but it was really, really amazing to have it done. So thanks for watching and have fun with your conversion. Bye for now.